around 1.3 billion people smoke around the world and this number is gradually increasing. Approximately 6 million people die each year due to smoking in the world. Smoking is the most lethal social poisoning event and the World Health Organization defines smoking as the most important preventable cause of disease. The damages caused by smoking to our body are enormous. It is known that smoking is harmful to health, harms many internal organs and reduces the quality of life. Well, do you have detailed information about the health hazards of smoking? Let's look at the health damages of smoking and the changes in our body after quitting. To smoke, cardiovascular diseases, chronic respiratory system diseases, oral and dental health diseases, it is among the important risk factors for chronic non-communicable diseases such as cancer and type 2 diabetes. While smoking increases the risk of these diseases, it damages all organs and tissues in the body by reducing the oxygen-carrying capacity of the blood and disrupting the vascular structure. The damages of smoking briefly affect the whole body. Damages of smoking to the heart vascular system. Smoking paves the way for harmful plaque formation and atherosclerosis, which prevents blood flow in the blood vessels. Carbon monoxide in cigarette smoke binds to hemoglobin that carries oxygen in the blood, reducing the amount of oxygen in the blood and affecting the oxygenation of organs. As a result, the rate of suffering from heart attack, stroke or peripheral artery disease increases significantly. The risk of having a heart attack is twice as high in smokers than non-smokers. Damages of smoking to the respiratory system. Chemical substances in cigarette smoke cause inflammatory reactions in the respiratory tract, irritate the bronchi and increase the tendency for infection. It damages the self-cleaning mechanism of the respiratory tract. In individuals who constantly smoke, complaints of respiratory distress, chronic cough and sputum are frequently encountered. Smoking is the leading cause of chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. Effects of smoking on mouth and dental health. In individuals who smoke, it causes yellowing of the teeth and unwanted brown spots due to the tar in the smoke of tobacco. A favorable environment is prepared for the growth of bacteria in the mouth cavity of individuals who smoke. Bacteria that grow in the mouth cause bad breath and tooth decay, as well as gum diseases that can cause tooth loss. It accelerates the formation of gum problems due to the reduction of blood to the gums due to the narrowing of the veins of smoking. Damages of smoking to skin health. Smoker's skin has a gray, pale and unhealthy appearance. Due to nicotine contained in cigarettes, it weakens the blood circulation to the skin and negatively affects the skin health. Cigarette smoke contains chemicals that damage skin cells. As a result, the skin becomes thinner, loses its elasticity, wrinkles early and ages. The damages of cigarette. It negatively affects the function of the brain in smokers due to arteriosclerosis. There is an increased risk of stroke and brain hemorrhage in smokers. Smoking weakens memory and negatively affects learning and logical thinking. The sense of taste decreases in smokers and they cannot fully enjoy the food they eat. Life comfort decreases and uncomfortable situations such as burning in the lungs and breathlessness occur in any sports activity. Because a substance that harms the human body so much is addictive, the best thing is that you have never tried it. For people who have started smoking, no matter what your age is, no step is too late. Now let's take a look at what changes have happened in the lives of people who smoke after they quit smoking. It is not easy to quit smoking for someone who has been smoking for a long time. During the period after quitting smoking, the person may have a very difficult time. This is the body's recovery process. Let's take a look at what changes have occurred in the body. At first, the person suffers from severe headaches, nausea and cramps. She is psychologically stressed, in a state of depression. Since nicotine and carbon monoxide do not enter the body, the risk of developing cardiovascular diseases decreases. Damaged mechanisms in the lungs repair themselves and complaints such as cough and sputum are reduced. 
After a long time, the risk of heart attack decreases with the decrease in the cardiovascular diseases of the person, the removal of plaques on the vascular walls, and the improvement of the narrowed heart vessels. The person's sense of taste improves and begins to taste more than the food he eats. If you want a comfortable, comfortable and healthy life, it would be best to quit smoking.